Hello Mayhem Makers, it's Mindy with another Mindy's Monday Mayhem Tips Live. We are on the last day of the month. Oh my gosh. It's been a whirlwind. I love it, but kind of glad to see February coming. Um, we've had weather that's been crazy and just lots of up and down in the store, which I love because it means we're we're doing something. We're here and we're, we're making it go. So thought I'd start out maybe with just a couple few things that we just got in the store that I think are super cool and then um, we'll talk about some events and stuff coming up so my new favorite love oh my gosh this fashion store this is the mini look at this guy <laughs> I got one as a gift didn't think I'd use it I'm in love with it it also comes in a bigger size so this is kind of little baby version this is a big guy I love it because it holds my little ruler, all my marking tools, all right there. So I'm sure a lot of you are like me. You have that big container that has everything in it and then you can't find anything that you want. So this little guy, it lives just right there next to my machine so I can grab my marking tools for my little ruler and um, be ready to go and not spend half my sewing day trying to find what I actually want to use. So um, they are stash and store minis. These are like 10 bucks. The bigger ones are 12. So I mean, not super expensive either. And I love them. And they just, they, they even come apart apparently. But they're just kind of this cool little, almost look like an orange peel, which I think is cool. Have kind of quilty look to them. And they come in different colors. So red, gray, purple, teal, you name it, whatever color you love, it pretty much comes in. Um, and we have a whole rainbow of colors in the store. So if you're still working on trying to get organized in your sewing room, that's the hot ticket right now. Um, new pattern, oh my gosh, <laughs> these just came in. Uh, pen and paper patterns, we love them. Uh, kitten around quilt, look at this guy. And of course, dog pile, so. Doesn't matter, dog lover, cat lover, hold it right side up. Whichever one you are, they have it for both. And we just got them in, oh my God, these, I just love them. Uh, so doing the four makes it 48 and a half inches square. So not a huge quilt, but you wanna make a bigger quilt, you just make more blocks, it's easy. Um, quarter yard friendly, uh, except for like the main body and background. So love it. Those are kind of the new fun things here. Otherwise, because it's the last day of the month and February is just tomorrow, uh, just reminders, if you're doing the UFO challenge, it's our last day. So if you're trying to get your January project done, today is it, email us a picture. If it's 11.59 at night, go snap that pic when you get it done. Email it, info at quiltingmayhem.com. We'll mark you off on your sheet or if you haven't even gotten your sheet into us, it's okay, still get it in. It's on our website, so just go to quiltingmayhem.com, download the form, fill it out, same thing. Email it, info at quiltingmayhem.com so you can join in. And it's okay if you didn't get whatever January's number is, didn't get it done, it's okay. February, whole new month, whole new project. And those of you that have joined, even if you didn't get January done, that's okay, February's a new month new project, you'll still get your projects going, you'll still have 11 more to get done. Plus if you did bonus uh, projects on the bottom, maybe you'll get those done too. So don't, don't be discouraged just because maybe you didn't get this month done. We still got time to get more done. Um, so just, we're just gonna let that go. January's it's under the rug at this point. We're saying goodbye. Hey Curtis, welcome. Happy Monday. It's been just, it's been a day, I love it. Um, and I think I say that every Monday, so every Monday is a Monday, a Mayhem Monday, that's for sure. Um, and then planners. I know it's not February, and I know I said I talk about the planner like the first week of every month, but like I said, February is pretty much here. Um, and what I thought was kind of cool, so if you are playing along with the Quilters Planner, whichever style you got, um, what I love at the end of the month, there is goal planning for the next month. So. Now's the time, find some goals. I like that it asks you like, what went well? What went well this month? That one maybe kind of made me think. Um, 
You know, sometimes you have to stop and go, what did go right? Ooh, I drank more water. Yay. Um, I got some planning and organizing done. Maybe not as much as I like, but like I said, you still have 11 more months to, to hone those skills in. Um, so I like that the planner, it has that. It has that at the end of the month. You can kind of stop, reflect, and go, all right, what can I do better? What do I need to let go of? You know, and tomorrow it's all new all over again. And then just a reminder, sit down with that February calendar, put your dates in. I went a little crazy, started putting in all my mayhem things in here just to remind me, um, because I do, I keep it at my desk, I have it open, it just stares at me, and I can just at a glance look and see what I need to be doing. So if you're, if you're using the planner, highly recommend. It doesn't take very long. I probably spent 20 minutes today going through, reflecting on how this month went, filling in what I need to have down as important dates and things to do for February. And then I just started this week. So this week actually kind of starts in the February month because it starts on a Sunday. So it starts January 30th to uh, this Saturday the 5th. And so I just, I started my new lists. What did I need to carry over from last week that I maybe didn't get done? carried that over and then I just started my list. I do like that I picked this dot grid. Um, I know I showed it, but it's a very simple just kind of dot grid. That way I'm not filling out each day because I might have commitment issues. I might just not be quite that organized. I'm a list maker. It lets me have that freedom. So even if you're not using this kind of planner, maybe you have a different one, do those types of things. Just sit. Do a brain dump, give yourself 15 minutes. Because I tell you, I felt a lot better just kind of getting it out and going, okay, I can kind of structure what I need to do. And this could even be your quilt projects. Maybe you just want to get organized in all those UFOs and looking at that list and those piles. So maybe you just need to give some organization to those quilty piles. And so start writing down, what are the quilts you want to get done, need to get done? Maybe you're doing one as a gift, all those things. Just start writing it down because mentally you might just need that that brain dump just put it down it's in writing it's almost like it's in stone um, and you can start just kind of checking off your list so that's what I'm loving about the planner February is here let's oh, almost I'm already in February so write those things down and then one other thing that I've discovered that I think is just the coolest thing I love Lorinda. She has put in every week, there are little quilting kits. Um, and there's, you can go to quiltersplanner.com for quilting tips, but every week there is some little tip in here. Oh my gosh. So those of you that are maybe new, or you may just learn something new, maybe you, you're old school, you've been doing it a while, you may still learn something new. This week, it's a reminder, hey, quarter inch around all the fabric that you're selling, it's getting sucked into a seam. So when you're trying to maybe fussy cut something cute, some little floral, some little critter, keep in mind, if his ear goes all the way to the edge of that fabric, you're gonna lose quarter inch of his ear or quarter inch of a stem or a petal, all those kinds of things. So great tip to have in there, great reminder um, for those of us, you know, even though I've been quilting a while, I forget, I go and go, yeah, it's a four and a half inch square. I lay my four and a half inch square down on my design and go, yep, cut it out and go, oh, whoops. Because then you sew it and you lost something. So it's nice to have those reminders. I love that she has them available so you can go to Quilter's Planner and it's just out there for you to check out. You don't even have to have the planner. Um, so she is just chock full of resources and we love resources. So we try to make sure we give you all those kinds of things. Hopefully you've noticed our newsletters where we keep kind of changing them. We're trying to hone them in to be more what maybe you guys hopefully are wanting to see. We did send you a survey out uh, today in your email. We would much appreciate it if you would click on that survey. It's pretty short, just some questions, looking for some input. Um, go find that email, it might be in your spam. Check it out, let us know, because we're trying to make sure that we're getting you the content you want. So. Tuesdays. Tuesdays now are for tips. Those emails are going to focus on different tips and tricks for sewing of all different kinds. Uh, so definitely 
uh, more worthwhile content maybe for you to click on because I know if you're like me you get a lot of email and your delete swipe is on point um, but stop and check those out because you may learn something new yes Curtis we have planners in stock a couple different styles so go to the website type in quilters planner uh, we've got at least two different color styles and two different uh, weekly layouts there is this dot grid like I do and then there's also just week or uh, days of the week so each day Monday Tuesday Wednesday has its own uh, separated section in for the week so if you're more uh, daily planning then that's that's what you've got okay so we do have a couple options for you and then we just have the regular um, planner if you're just wanting to keep your quilt projects organized we have those in stock too uh, if you're not wanting the calendar portion and just the, the quilt organization portion. So, yeah. options. We like options. Uh, so, they're on the website. Check them out. If you have questions, let us know. Um, or you can hop over to Quilters Planner. Uh, there might be uh, questions for Lorenda on her different styles, different options, because there is uh, a bigger variety, of course, with her than with us. We just brought some in the store so people could actually look and touch them and see what they're all about because uh, that's the type of shopper I am. I want to see in person. I don't like online shopping. So uh, those are some of the cool things that we have going on. Uh, the survey, Tuesdays is now tips, all those kinds of things. Um, and then just trying to keep up, end of January. Um, if you were wanting to join our Ugly Fabric Challenge, that is ending. It's $5 to join. You get half a yard of fabric. Uh, you have till like mid-May to do a project, something creative that'll get you out of your box. Um, so that's kind of a fun one because the fabric will be a surprise for you. We don't necessarily consider fabric ugly that we carry, but we pick something challenging, we feel, for everybody or most everybody. You, it may be your color palette. You may get excited. You don't know, but five bucks, join in, um, you know, just push yourself outside of your box. So that's coming to an end. Um, that's available on the website. Just look up Ugly Fabric Challenge. That's there. Um, geez, you know, we have so many things. I had a list and then I left my list somewhere else. So, um, <laughs> you know, that's how it goes with me. Uh, and then updates. So uh, quilt coat people, I don't know if you've seen. I'm working on my, my second one. This is one of my panels. So. We are going to, it's, it's going to launch. It, we just, patterns got backlogged, the stabilizers got backlogged, and I don't want to get ahead of you guys. So, um, this is using Flying Geese Quilt Smart Grids. Look at these guys, I love them so, so much. I'm addicted to this, because um, it makes these nice, pretty, pretty geese. Um, so, I will start doing tutorials for this. I just kind of been waiting. Uh, wanting to make sure everybody has their patterns and their stabilizers and, and starting to pick their fabric so they can do uh, the quilts that they want. So that is coming, don't worry. Um, or if you haven't heard about it and you want to learn more, let me know. We'll definitely um, give you all the information. But the jacket patterns are coming. That is the Grainline Studios Tamarack jacket that is required if you're doing um, the coat challenge itself. Otherwise, Pick any coat pattern you want. Um, but if you're trying to win uh, prizes with Free Spirit um, and join in with us, it is the Grainline Studios Tamarack jacket pattern and the Quilt Smart panels uh, that are required as part of that. Um, so, but we'll do tutorials. There is a separate uh, Facebook group also that I post in that is just for the coat challenge. Uh, so you can kind of keep up to date on that and just go look for QM coat challenge coat challenge in Facebook groups just ask to join we let you in it's easy keeps that a little separate uh, and those of you doing to the pink butterfly the patterns finally came the 2.0 the brand new pattern um, if you didn't know she redid her butterfly quilt and so uh, we're doing so long again I did it during COVID we're gonna do it again with the updated pattern so uh, if you joined in then and didn't finish, or you're just hearing about it now, now's the time. Uh, kits are starting to ship out, patterns are here, all those kinds of things. You're welcome to join in. It's a great way if you're trying to skill build, learn different blocks, because uh, we'll be teaching different blocks every month. It's just kind of a sew-along, 
Uh, that'll run for it's like six, eight months. You can tell there's too many sew alongs in my head right now. Um, but there's details in our Tula Pink group or on our website, uh, so you can find out more about those and find those Facebook groups uh, through the website. So um, if anything, email me, info at quiltingmayhem.com. We'll get you answers, but that is um, a fun new block sew along. And if you wanna do the same as what's on the, the pattern cover, that's the kit that we have. Otherwise, if you wanna do your own fabrics, go for it. We can either help you pick some or you're picking from your stash or you have a bundle from some other designer collection. All of the above. We'll gladly help you. It's just, it's a fun, um, pretty quilt. And I will teach some different techniques than in the book. Um, what I consider easier ways to do things. You guys might not agree, um, but I do try to teach you some tips and tricks along the way to make it easier. So that's what that sew along is there for. Um, otherwise, you know, all our other ones are still in progress. We have our Robert Kaufman Color of the Year, the Allison Glass Feathers Sew Along. Um, I love those of you that are posting uh, your quilt progress for feathers um, for Allison Glass. They are gorgeous. I love them. Keep posting, keep sharing, um, especially if you're in the Mayhem Makers community on Facebook. We love you sharing in there. Send them a via email. I, I love seeing all that kind of stuff or come in the shop show and tell we love show and tell um, and then southern charm quilts if you want an actual full quilt along she is doing uh, monthly so every five six weeks she launches a new full quilt we have the books we have some kits all that kind of stuff if you're wanting to do full quilts in a shorter period of time so if you don't want something that's going to take six nine months uh, that is definitely one to check out go to southern charm quilts go to check out her social media uh, she's posting all kinds of sew along tips tricks videos those kinds of things and we're just kind of following along with her uh, Showing our support and love of her patterns and uh, her color choices. She's got some great um, palettes that we love so All kinds of things going on. That's kind of the update I know a lot of you have kind of asked about like the coat challenge and the butterfly those kinds of things um, and they're taking a little longer to come out to you than we had hoped uh, but I just want to make sure that I keep all of you kind of in the same sense of progress. I don't want to leave anybody behind. Uh, so some of it's kind of slowed down um, just due to, of course, all the lovely supply chain issues that everybody has had. So um, we're just doing what we can here. Otherwise, if you're looking for new classes, uh, we're adding to our calendar all the time. You can check it out on the website or we do put them in our emails. Um, so always check out the emails for the latest and greatest when it comes to classes and events and even fabric. We have fabric coming in all the time. Even though there's those supply chain issues, they're still showing up at our doorstep. So we're not complaining. Um, we just got uh, some lovely Moda fabrics. We got some Robert Kaufman fabrics. We got Hoffman's uh, big Dream Big panels. They're the big... Um, 108 inch square panels just arrived. So if you've been looking for those uh, dream big blooms and you want it bigger for like a quilt back or just a whole big whole cloth quilt, we got them in three different colorways. So uh, stuff's coming all the time. So check it out, all kinds of new loveliness. Um, fill out the survey. It would help us out greatly to make sure that we are actually doing what you want, not just what we want, I mean, We'll keep kind of rolling the mayhem way but we rather that we try to do it more for what you would like to see um, and there will be another survey coming out probably in a couple weeks in regards to like fabrics and designers those kinds of things so don't worry we want all your input we want to make sure that the fabric we're bringing in is what you want to see um, and that it just keeps changing we like variety we like new things so we're just always going to keep kind of updating and changing as we can so we appreciate you taking the time uh, if you do to take the survey because uh, i know we all have busy lives we got things to do so thank you to those of you that have done the survey or if you are going to we do appreciate it so otherwise that's a lot of mayhem on a monday um i tried to keep it scaled i promise <laughs> it doesn't always work that way but um 
Thank you for you know joining in today. Hope you have a lovely, lovely Monday. Looks like it stopped raining out here. Yay! So enjoy the non-rainy afternoon and keep on stitching.